I don't think you could see that, but uh, things are becoming new on this mountain. It's a wildflower that's showing signs of spring right here where right here in the very location that I'm talking about. God's showing new life. You know, turkey hunting is some around a month away now in western North Carolina. Uh, as hunters, you, you want to be ready. You, you get your calls out, you practice with them, you get your camouflage out, you sort all your stuff out, you get your decoys out. There's a lot of stuff we do to prepare for turkey season. And one thing I see a lot of turkey hunters do, especially in the mountains, is they don't prepare their body. Uh, I, I'm speaking for myself here too. You can, you can realize real quick that you're out of shape chasing turkeys from one mountain to the other. You can understand that a long, hard winter was uh, hard on you. It got you out of shape. And to chase turkeys, you have to be somewhat in shape. At least be able to, to cross mountain to mountain to mountain. Recently, myself and Chris, we went on our first hike of the year. I realized real quick that this was my first hike of the year. My legs was burning, my lungs was burning. I wanted to stop and rest. Everything in my body was telling me, man, let's just quit. This is enough of this. But if I had a stopped, if I had a quit right there, I would be stranded in the woods. I could have just said, I'm done right here. And I would have been stuck in the woods, stuck in the darkness, stuck. I'm at a I'm at a very special place today, so, a place that, that means a lot to me. Several, several years ago now, I was at, I was at a real low point in my life. But things was happening in my life that I, that I couldn't find the answers for. I, I was struggling with things, things I kept to myself. I wouldn't talk to nobody. I was just in a rut. And I was desperately, desperately seeking God's guidance. God's patience, God's peace. I was seeking it so much and could not find it. One morning after coming home from, from work, and, and I'm and within two days I had probably slept four hours or so, and I come home from work, I run to this location. But from the time I left my porch, I was in a dead run. A dead run from my porch to this location. And at this location, for several hours, me and God had a long conversation. Me and God sorted a lot out right here on this mountain. Right here in this very location. All it is is a bend in the road. An old foiler road, it's just a bend in the road. and Nothing important, nothing special. But for the rest of my life, I'll remember this bend in the road because God opened my eyes to a lot of things that day on this mountain. You know, this video won't be for everybody, but there's somebody watching this video today that is struggling in a very low point in their life. And you're wanting to quit. You don't want to move forward no more. God provides new life. God provides. God provides you peace. He provides joy. We have to take every ounce that we have in us and strive after God. Whether we believe we can do it or not, we have to continue moving forward. I could have given up on that day on Chris walking and on that little bitty hike and I could have just rested my legs, but I would have still been stuck in the same place. We have to keep moving forward. The Bible says in Hebrews that if we believe God, that we have to hold on to that. If we say we believe, we have to hold on to that. I found a lot of peace and comfort today, right here on this hill that the Lord brought me one day. I could have given up. I could have stopped. I could have got worse. I could have just kept digging that hole. But I wanted God's blessing. And if you want God's blessing, you have to keep moving forward. Keep desiring Him. 
Things will change. Keep moving forward.